Hello everyone. Today we're going to test the electromechanical relay. Inside this relay is a coil of wire. There's contacts and the pins here to mate it to your circuit board. This version here is a 24 volt DC it has two sets of double throw contacts in there it's double throw double pole relay this pin right here if you can see inside let me flip it around so we can get through the words this pin right here is the normally closed contact the middle pin down here is the common and this pin down here is the normally open contact here's the schematic diagram for that relay here's the coil here's one of the switch contacts right here and here's the second switch contact these dashed lines indicate that these two switches are mechanically joined together now what happens to these relays normally is that over the years the contact resistance between the normally closed or the normally open or both will become too high they won't fully conduct and uh, in that case the relay either needs to be taken apart and cleaned or replaced here we're going to check this relay with this little setup right here it's real easy you need a power supply that will source the voltage for the relay that you're testing and in this case again it's 24 volts so I got my power supply set to 24 volts DC you need a ohm meter to test the contact resistance of the relay so here is our ohm meter I got little clippy leads to clip onto the pins we're going to check this side first we'll check the normally closed side just clip on there Let's switch this lead around here the other side's got a better hook on it okay you can see there that our resistance is 0.3 ohms the leads here on my meter are 0.2 so we have a contact resistance of 0.1 ohm let's put the coil voltage on there and we'll watch it open up if the coil is good there we just opened up the relay energized with that 24 volts DC across the coil and the contact opened up now we're going to move from the normally open contact over here or from I'm sorry from the normally closed contact to the normally open and it should be energized now you can see we have 9.1 subtracting the 0.2 ohms of my meter leads we have 9.1 ohms of contact resistance there I'd replace that relay just because there is resistance that's not very much but for instance if you had a low signal running through those contacts right there a very small signal that 9.5 ohms <laughs> that might be that might as well be up in the in the mega ohms okay let's undo our coil and de-energize that relay 
Okay, now that normally open side is open again, but this side is closed. This is normally closed side when it's de-energized. Let's check the other side. There's two contacts in here. Let's go ahead and check the other side. Flip my leads around so I can hook up on the other side. Okay, this is the normally closed. That's good. Shows 0.3 on the meter. Let's energize it and watch it open up. Okay. It's functioning properly. Let's check the contact resistance of the normally open side. Now look at that. That is way too high right there. It's dancing around up around 100. It's coming down, but that's definitely not good. Don't know where it's going to stabilize at, but that's some high contact resistance right there. Right now it's at 78 ohms. That should be zero ohms right there. That relay is going to have to get replaced. Taken apart and cleaned or replaced. We've got a little bit more work to do, don't we? <laughs> well, that's how you test an electromechanical relay. There's other things go wrong with them besides the contacts uh, uh, resistance increasing. Uh, the coils open up. They mechanically fail. They'll bind up in one position and not, not move to the other pos switch position. Um, those are the three most common. The high contact resistance, the coil opening up, and mechanically failing. The high contact resistance comes about because we're pulling current through that contact. And that contact is opening and closing, and opening and closing. And with current through that contact and you opening it up, you have a little bit of a gap there that the current will jump across and arc. And if you have a, a lot of current, you can even see the outside plastic where it's smoked from the arcing when that contact opens up and that current jumps across the contacts. That causes the contacts to pit and um, they no longer want to make good contact because of that pitting, that carbon buildup across the contacts. Now, hopefully I can get this relay apart and I'll show you how we clean it. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Turn our meter off too. Undo our connections here. Now you'll see on this relay there's a, a latch right there that holds the plastic cover to the base. And hopefully what we can do is we can stick a screwdriver between the base and that plastic cover, slide it up there to unlock that latch, go over to the other side with another small screwdriver and undo this side and then pull it all apart. That's the plan. Let's see how we do. There's not much of a gap. Set that screwdriver set over there. There's not much of a gap between that base and that plastic cover. So, we'll see what we could do. Now, don't stab yourself. It's real easy to do here.
know if I'm going to be able to do it. That's a tough one to get into. Let me try this screwdriver right here. If you break that tab, don't worry. You can tape everything back together. not working let's try it again try the other side maybe we have more luck over here okay there's the screwdriver in that one side watch out now don't get the screwdriver over here in the windings or the mechanics of the contacts you can score that winding open and bend those contacts right there this side right here is being bent up there we go there oh yeah you see how that come apart you have to use two screwdrivers so you can unlock both latches now get you some of these right here These are for cleaning the contacts of the relay. Um, what I'll do, you can get both at the same time. You just want to gently scrub those contacts right there with that little file. Okay, and on the other side, you can push see here's the the part that the magnetism pulls in right here and it pushes the contacts away into the other normally open contact so you can push down on that pivot point right there and then scrub those guys don't put the cover back on until you test the relay again because if you didn't get it fully cleaned you'll have to take the cover back off and you saw how much of a bear that was <laughs> I've had relays where I've had to battle that latch and I ended up breaking the latch not on purpose but just from the force of trying to get it free. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we'll hook up our coil again. Hook up our meter leads to the normally closed contact. Put our meter back in ohms mode. There, we got 0.2 ohms. That's my meter lead resistance. Let's put 24 volts to the coil. It just opened up. I'll move it over to the other side. Look at that. Is it that much better? That's the side that was bouncing around from up there at 100 down to 80 and whatnot. Okay, so that side's cleaned up. De-energize it. Make sure it went back to the other side there. Yep, that's good. Now we're going to come around and check this side. There's two switches in here. we got to check this side also. After this, we can put the cover back on if this side works. Okay, there's the normally closed. That's good. Let's energize the coil. Okay, it just opened up and went to the normally open side. And move over to that side. There we go. Look at that. That's good. That's good. All right. We fixed that relay. Okay, let's de-energize the relay. And we're on back, make sure we're back to the normally closed position. That's good. 
that's a good relay now we can put the lid back on it solder it back to the board it come out of you'd be surprised how many things that I've fixed by cleaning the contacts of these relays that is the the contact resistance is the number one failure of a relay I'll put the lid back on it lock that back down there you go <laughs> that's how you repair high contact resistance in an electromechanical relay. <laughs> Wasn't that neat? <laughs> oh, you gotta love this job. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.